Hello everyone, so in this tutorial we're going to see how we can derive the characteristic table of JK flip-flop uh, using the truth table of JK flip-flop. So as you can see this is the truth table for JK flip-flop and this truth table is uh, strikingly similar to the SR flip-flop. The first three row is uh, exa are, are exactly same as the first three rows of the SR flip-flop only the last row varies from the SR flip-flop last row because uh, in case of SR flip-flop uh, we saw that uh, the state of 1 1 was completely unusable all right we could not use that state uh, but in case of Jacob flip-flop we can see that 1 1 produces uh, toggle at the output so in the case of SR flip-flop this was our problem that means uh, we could not use the state of 1 1 and in case of D flip-flop there was not even any kind of 1-1 one, one state, alright, so that was also a problem, but we can see that in case of JK flip-flop, so we have the 1-1 one, one state and we do not have any kind of unusable state, so that means we can use all the four possible states in JK flip-flop, alright, so this is the truth table for JK flip-flop, now we're going to build the characteristic table uh, of JK flip-flop using the truth table of JK flip-flop, alright, so this is the characteristic table, as usual, the characteristic table has two parts, so in the left part, we'd be uh, writing the uh, present state and the flip-flop inputs, so in case of JK flip-flop, there are two inputs, J and K, so in the left part, there are basically three possible stuff so Q J and K so that means eight possible combinations so 0 0 0 0 0 1 until uh, 1 1 1 all right so eight possible combinations and in the right side would be writing the next state which would be Q T plus 1 all right so let's try to figure out how we wrote the uh, next state values over here all right so in the first row we can see that J and K produce 0 and 0, alright? So for 0 and 0, we go, we go back to the truth table and we try to find that combination where J and K are 0 and 0. So this is the uh, this is that combination and for this specific combination the output was memory slash no change. So that means we will not change uh, the value of present state. So in the present state we got 0, so the next state would be 0 again, alright? In case of 0 and 1 for J and K, the truth table states 0 at the output. Remember, Q is our main output, so 0 is the output for 0 and 1. So here, zero for 0 1, the next state, in the next state, we can just write the value directly, which is 0. So for 1, 0, the, the truth table states 1 in the output, so we can write that value directly in the next state. And for 1, 1, we can see that it specifies toggle uh, in the truth table, alright? So toggle means whatever value we have in the present state, we're going to change that value. So if we have zero in the present state, we'll write one in the next state. And if we have one in the next, uh, one in the present state, then we'll write zero in the next state, all right? So here, for this combination, in this row, we get zero in the present state. So if we toggle the value, that means we can just change the value and we'll write the complement of this value, that means one in the next state, all right? So again, we get 0, 0. For 0, 0, it would be memory slash no change. That means we will not change the value of present state. Whatever is written uh, in the present state will write the same exact value. So the present state uh, has 1 as its value and we'll write 1 in the next state. For 0, 1, we'll write 0. For 1, 0, we'll write 1. And for 1, 1, it's, uh, it says toggle. So that means whatever written here as the present state will just complement that value. So the present state has 1 as its value. So we'll, we'll just toggle it. That means so we'll just change it and we'll write 0 at the next state. Alright, so this is how we can derive the characteristic table for JK flip-flop. Alright, and now uh, we'll try to derive the excitation table for JK flip-flop using the characteristic table of JK flip-flop. So here we can see the excitation table of JK flip-flop. As usual, the excitation table has two parts. In the left part, uh, we'll write the present state and next state, which is uh, Q and Q plus. And in the right part, we'll write the uh, inputs for JK flip-flop, which would be J and K. All right. So uh, here in the left side, uh, there are two variables, present state and next state. So that means there would be four combinations. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. All right. So for the first combination, uh, where the present state is 0 and next state is 0, we'll go back to the characteristic table and we'll try to find those rows where the present state is 0 and next state is 0. So we can see that for the first two rows over here, the present state is 0 
and next state is 0 right and for both of these cases we can see the value of j is 0 since uh, the both of the uh, since both of these cases produce 0 uh, in case of j so that means we can just write 0 in the case of j right here we wrote 0 however in ca in the case of k we see that we got 0 in one case and 1 in another case right so that means we could not come to a specific decision so the values were different and that's why we write don't care in the place of k right so going to the next state so I'm just going to use some different colors now so in the next state okay where the the state is 0 and 1 for the present state and next state all right so for the next combination where the present state is 0 and next state is 1 all right so we'll try to find those combinations where present state is 0 and next state is 1 so I'm uh, marking those rows where the present state is 0 and next state is 1 all right so in both of these cases we can see the value of j was 1 in both of these cases right so that means both the cases have the same value for j so we can clearly write 1 in the place of j however for k the value was 0 in one case and 1 in another case so that means we had some confusion so we could not come to a specific decision so that's why we'll write don't care in the place of k now for the next combinations where q is 1 and q plus is 0 so we'll try to find out those specific state uh, those specific rows where present state is 1 and next state is 0 alright so present state is 1 and next state is 0 so in both of these cases we can see in both of these cases we can see that uh, the value of k is actually 1 right the value of k is actually 1 in both of these cases so that's why we can write 1 in the place of k however the value of j varies it's 0 at one case and 1 in another case so that's why we'll write don't care in the place of j and finally uh, if we consider 1 1 and uh, 1 1 as present state and next state so these are the two combinations 1 1 all right where the present state is 1 uh, present state is 1 and next state is uh, 1 again so in both of these cases the value of k actually remains the same 0 0 right so that's why we can write 0 in the place of k however the value of j varies so that's why we write don't care in the place of j so you can clearly see that we can derive the excitation table based upon the help of characteristic table all right so this is it for uh, all the tables regarding jacob flip-flop in the next tutorial we're going to show the tables of t flip-flop